Oh, hello. Just having some breakfast. Welcome to Ferrio. In the time of C19, we are in a semi self isolation, more social distancing. Uh, at the moment, been doing approximately a week and a half, nearly two weeks. I quite like it. it, suits me quite well. This is what we're having for breakfast. Every second day, I have pancakes with some lovely maple syrup. Uh, I alternate, uh, I have uh, pancakes one day, and then the other day I'll have five eggs. Just eggs, five eggs scrambled, beautiful. Every day, Claire has a packet of noodles. Every single day. I couldn't do that, I've tried. Actually, I've never tried having noodles every single day because I wouldn't do it, it wouldn't happen. Well, hello to everyone, I am alive. I've been very, very lazy uh, for the last couple of, uh, a week and a bit. Uh, been trying to learn uh, Adobe uh, Premiere. Uh, it's been very frustrating uh, to the level of, I can't do it, I've got to play computer games and watch Netflix. So I've got back on the bandwagon. Um, I've picked up the, well, not picked it up, I started uh, going through uh, learning videos on YouTube. So hopefully uh, my editing will improve. Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, also in this time, uh, we've been gardening. I'll show you some of that shortly. Uh, also, we've done a uh, little home gym up on the roof, which is coming together quite nicely. Uh, as well as that, I have been trying to diet as much as possible. I know the lovely pancakes aren't a diet item, but uh, I've been only having two meals a day, so I'll either have um, a brunch and a dinner, uh, and maybe some healthy snacks in between. Um, I have been staying up quite late watching Netflix, so it does help that I don't get up till probably 11 o'clock to have my breakfast slash lunch. So that's been helping immensely, so thank you Netflix. Um, I've probably lost approximately five kilos in a week and a half. Um, I, I have seen a big, uh, big reduction in the food I can eat. Um, I can't eat that much food uh, without feeling full, which is a good thing. So my stomach has sh uh, shrunk uh, slightly, so that is a good thing. In this time of uh, self-isolation and social distancing, it's a uh, great time to grow yourself um, vegetables. I'm actually growing my hair until the whole thing is uh, fixed or there's a vaccine. So this is going to get quite big. I throw it up. Only around here, not on top, just around this side. So prepare to get some throw work happening. Uh, also, uh, learn new things. I'm trying to learn uh, Adobe Premiere, um, lose some weight, uh, trying to get into uh, the Khmer language. So we're going to do, uh, Claire and I will do at least one hour a day learning uh, the language. So hopefully that will grow as well. Um, also, I'd like everyone out there to put in the comments down below what you're doing during this time. Uh, how you're keeping sane. Um, also, hints and tips on ways to keep uh, yourself um, safe from this virus. Um, I, at the moment, have a makeshift uh, mask. We both wear masks now if we go out. Uh, not the surgical masks. Uh, if you're wearing these, these are more if you are sick. Um, even then, if you are sick, you should only be going to the doctors and back. Uh, we've got that lovely uh, face shield the uh, landlord made us, which is uh, very thoughtful. I probably won't wear it that much, but it is very thoughtful. But I have got a um, scarf, and so the scarf I put uh, some kitchen paper, um, fold that over, wrap around my face. If anyone does cough, that's going to hit the, the um, mask before it hits my face. I wear glasses anyway, and I've got a big beard. So these things should stop at the virus coming to, uh, getting into my system. Also, wash my hands, wash your hands. Don't touch things, don't touch your face. If you're gonna touch your face, 
back here and just touch my hand. Yeah, my hands are getting clean anyway. So, like a cat, I use a. So I'm gonna even at home when you're doing stuff, you use the, your wrist, back of your wrist, thing. Um, no handshaking, fist pump or fist explosions, boom, things like that. Um, I will just go and do a quick uh, walk around the apartment. We're going to go outside, look at the um, plants. Then we'll go upstairs and look at the uh, upstairs um, terrace where Claire has got. Um, a mat down, we've got some um, weights um, getting made as well the, from the landlord. Uh, so there's a lot of things online that you can make your own weights. Um, he's very handy. So hopefully he will um, we'll have that in a couple of days. Um, also, uh, everyone stay safe. Uh, remember your social distancing. Remember that we're all in it together. Um, uh, no hoarding. Uh, money is not a real option, long, you will get fed. If you're in Australia, if you live in Australia, you will not starve to death. No, they won't turn your electricity off. They won't turn your water off. They won't kick you out of your house. So just, everyone has to relax, take a big breath, because you can, and we'll get through this together. Peace. Okay, this is outside in our balcony. There's my lovely scarf that I use as a face mask as well. There's our washing facilities, uh, clothesline, a little octopus from the other apartment. Here is our assortment of pots. As you can see, uh, in this one we've got tomatoes and we've got capsicum, bell peppers. Same down here. I've just separated a bit from that pot to smaller pots. These ones here we're just getting ready to put plants in. Over here, we have, see that little patch in the middle is nothing? That's gonna be eggplant, hopefully, maybe. Well, there's little things coming up now, maybe eggplants. We'll see, they've been very slow. Um, there's little ones there, they're basil. Oh, they're very good basil. And these ones are the long beans. They have gone nuts. Look at the, the swirl. Exploded out here. Um, Claire just put those in there. Um, I would say two days ago. They've already got that big and sprouted. Here's my little oh, startup capital venture thing. I've got a little egg container and I have beans and um, basil and tomatoes and uh, capsicum or bell peppers in here. So I'll grow them and I'll put them downstairs and I'll just give them away. Something to do, give back to the community as I like to do. This is our view. At the moment they're doing a lot of uh, power crossovers. It's probably very hard to see. It's very, very bright out there. That's the next door of the building. And it's a thousand degrees. Those people are there every day doing that. Hardcore, hardcore life. And um, that one there has stopped. Um, it was the same, I don't know if they're doing stuff inside, but it's been very quiet. So I don't know if they've actually just shut it down for the time being or run out of money, but that's as far as it's got so far. Um, yeah, back to that, that noise, that generator. The generator, just an orange or yellow, orangey yellow, orange, orange uh, generator down there. Uh, they're doing power cuts switches. Um, so that's been going for about three, two to three hours now, but we've got power but they don't seem to have power, which is quite weird. That might be a different set substation, I don't know, but there it is. As you can see as well, it's very hazy and smoky. Um, it has been, uh, there has been a lot of uh, forest fires. It has been um, a dry season, uh, and at the hottest time of the year right now. So we actually closed the door inside. It's actually cool how the door closed because the breeze is very, very hot. So I'll just head upstairs and I'll look at the terrace and the um, little gym Claire's starting to put together. Okay, now we're up on the rooftop terrace. They just put up this really big roof. It's really high. So it goes right up to there. Here's Claire's little weights. 
think they're six kilograms each these things just something to get started with There's some mass we can put down which is nice we've got water and a nice lovely view from up here don't know if you can see oh you can probably see in the distance I don't know if you can see in the distance there can you see the little the um Angkor Eye the Eye of Sauron it's quite nice at night it lights up as it spins around so that's quite a nice to look at too this is our rooftop that's a nice barbecue I'll be using that when we uh, get out of this self isolation slash COVID-19 era here's from the city okay let's get heights yeah down to our pool it's quite nice up here at night it's very breezy nice breeze come through these poor plants uh, they may come back somebody's someone has someone has been watering them so they might come back I doubt I think they are dead they're gone they've gone to a better place this is the other side of our I don't know what that is over there those things they are very weird. I'm gonna to have to go and look at them one day. If uh, anyone's been to uh, Singapore, I think that's the thing they're going for, those upward trees made of metal, then all the plants, I think. I'll go over there one day and have a look, because I, I really haven't gone that, that way too much. There's a big hotel there. I don't know if there's any guests there at the moment. I never see anyone down the pool. It might have actually closed down for the time being. Um, we do have a lot of land still around us that can be developed, which would be annoying if they keep doing it. They just cleared all that land just recently, so hopefully that won't happen. Down there, you can see down there, that's the uh, landlord. They um, made this building. I don't understand the front bit of it, but the rest of it is a little uh, one-story um, building they made. Add-on. So when that's uh, finished, we'll go down and walk through that and have a look at it. Um, a lot of windows, it looks quite nice and airy. I think there's only a two bedroom and a one bedroom, I think. I don't think there's three. Or well, maybe I'm wrong. No, I think there's only two. A two bedroom and one bedroom. But it's beautiful. It is actually really nice up here. In the, um, nice breeze. Really nice, cool breeze up here for some reason. Some funky architecture over there. That, orange and weird door happening but um yeah certainly when uh this whole thing is over we'll make great use of this and that barbecue um at the end of the video i'll just put a little uh quick time lapse of this work site that i did um it's only a minute that goes through um how they put the the uh, metal across um it's it's a big feat actually, it's, it's quite interesting to watch, interesting to watch every day. Um, these people work bloody hard. So they're up in this heat, this is uh, one o'clock in the, about one o'clock. And it would be at least 39 degrees out there and these people out there in that heat doing that. Uh, those people are up, what is it, one, two, three stories. Three stories, some of them wearing crash helmets. I don't think it's going to be much if you do fall, but uh, health and safety is not a big concern. I think at the I haven't seen anyone fall, thank, thank goodness, but it, it would have to happen, have to happen. Uh, so even the I've seen some really um, dangerous things happen on this website already, but uh, you can't can't change everything. That's the uh, the government and the the worker. The workers um, have to get together and really um, step up their safety. That's their thing. Oh, I've got a few, a few more uh, videos coming out later on of uh, previous uh, walk and talks I've done uh, that I didn't think were up to scratch uh, due to the uh, picture quality. I've got the Adobe uh, Premiere. I'm trying to fix it up in some some way. It's um, it's very it's very difficult, but. I've got time, I suppose, to fix it. So I'll uh, get onto that. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a few more videos up of uh, before the whole C19 
epidemic. Down the other side, so that it cleared all that. It's a pity they actually did that because those lovely trees here. So they're all the mango trees, but progress. Can't can't change these things. Ah, uh, yeah. Just like and subscribe. Um, look at the links down below. Uh, also, we'll try and do a uh, COVID uh, nineteen. Um, budget what we spend in a month uh, during this pandemic in Cambodia uh, we just a spoiler we do get um, home delivery every single night we try and uh, spend our money locally spread that money around to the local community uh, through the restaurants who employ local um, people to work at these restaurants so hopefully just that little bit of um, luxury we have every night is helping uh, Cambodia in a small way. Okay, just uh, keep safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.